Welcome to Prezium Technologies. In this video series, we'll discuss the most commonly asked SQL Server interview questions and answers. If you have attended an interview and if you have a question to be answered, please feel free to leave that question as a comment and I shall record and upload a video answering that question as soon as I can. With that, let's dive in. In this video, we'll discuss how to find nth highest salary in SQL Server. This is one of the very commonly asked SQL Server interview question. And keep in mind, there are several ways of finding the nth highest salary. In this video, we'll discuss a few of those. By the end of this video, we'll be able to answer all these questions. How to find the nth highest salary in SQL Server using a subquery. How to find the nth highest salary using a CTE. How to find the second, third, fifth, or even fifteenth highest salary. For the purpose of this demo, we'll be using this employees table. The SQL script to create this table, I'll have it available on my blog in case you need it. Now, if somebody asks us to find the highest salary, that's straightforward. All we do is use the max function. Let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. So at the moment, this data is already sorted by salary in descending order. So the highest salary is 8,000. So if we want the highest salary, we simply say select max of salary from the employees table. So that should give us 8,000. But if somebody asks us to retrieve the second highest salary, then how are we going to do that? So this is how we'll do it. So we want salary from employees where salary is less than whatever is the highest salary. So here we are making this a subquery. Okay. So now if we execute this, what do you think are we going to get? So we are getting every salary, you know, which is less than the highest salary, but that's not what we want. We want the second highest salary. So to get the second highest salary, we are going to use the max function with the outer query as well. So now when we execute this, we should get the second highest salary, which is 7,000. So let's execute both of this uh, query so we can see the result side by side. So here, if you notice, the second highest salary is 7,000. That's what we have got. So this is a straightforward query. Okay. Now, let's see how to get nth highest salary. First, let's see how to get nth highest salary using a subquery. So let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. So first, I'm going to write you know, the subquery itself. So select distinct top you know, whatever salaries. Let's say, for example, we want to get the second highest salary. So select top two salary from which table? From employees table. And we are going to order, that is, sort the rows by salary in descending order. Now look at this. When we execute this query, so we get the top two highest salaries. Let's execute both of them. So that the highest salary is 8,000, second highest is 7,000. So we are getting the first highest and second highest. That's because we have used top two here. And they are in descending order. Now we are going to make this a subquery. So let's put that within a pair of brackets. And let's give this a name. Let's call it result. OK? Now let's write the outer query. So we want to select salary from this result set. So when we execute this query, as you might expect, we are going to get both the rows. Now what we want is we want you know, the second highest salary. And if you notice the result here, look at this. They are in descending order. So first of all, let's sort the results in ascending order. So for that, I'm simply going to use order by salary. Okay, so when we execute this query, what's going to happen? You know, the sorting is going to be reversed. So 7,000 and 8,000. And out of these, we want just the first row. So what we're going to do here, select top one salary from that result set. So when we execute this, look at that, we only get the second highest salary, one record. Now, let's actually execute both of them. So now, this query can be used to retrieve any of the highest salary. If you want, let's say, third highest salary. So what is the third highest salary here? First is 8,000, 
second is 7,000, third is 6,000. So if you want the third highest salary, simply replace this with 3. So when we execute this, now we should get 6,000 as the output. Look at that. Okay, so you can use this query to find any of the nth highest salary. And here we have seen how to do it using a sub query. Now let's see how to do it using a CTE. CTE stands for Common Table Expression. So let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. So select. Now we are going to select salary and I'm going to use dense rank SQL Server function here. In a bit you'll understand what dense rank function is going to do. Now it's going to obviously rank rows and then give uh, you know rank to every row. So when we use dense rank function, we'll have to specify the result set upon which we want that dense rank to be applied. So we want the dense rank to be applied over you know, the result set that we are going to specify here. So what we want to do is we want to order by salary column and that in descending order. Okay, so on this result set, you know, apply a rank. Okay, in a bit you'll understand what I mean by that. So from what table? Employees table. Now let's give this, you know, whatever, you know, this expression is going to return, you know, that column a name. Let's call this maybe uh, dense ranked. Okay, so let's execute this and see what output we get. So if you notice, you know, look at that, that's salary and that's the ranked. Uh, which this dense rank function has given. Now the highest salary is 8,000, so it's giving that rank number one. And 7,000, you know, we have two rows, the second highest salary, so notice the rank for both of the rows is two. Okay, so dense rank, that's what it does. It gives rank based on the values. And we have specified here, we want to, you know, sort the salaries in descending order and then apply the rank for them. So obviously here, two rows are the same, which means they get the second rank. And this fourth row, which has got 6,000, will get the third rank. Again, look at this. After that, we have two 4,500s. So which means, you know, fourth rank is applied for both of the rows and fifth rank goes to 3,500. I hope dense rank function is clear. Okay, so now what we are going to do, we are going to make this a common table expression. And the way we do that is by using with keyword. And let's call this common table expression result and give it a name as. So this is our common table expression. So now, as the name states, this is a common table expression. You can use it as a table. So what I'm going to do is select what we want uh, from the common table. We want salary column from, what is the name of the CTE? It is result. So from result where, let's say we want the second highest salary. So if you look at you know, this result set, what is the other column name? It's called dense rank. And that's going to be present within this result set. So from uh, result where result dot dense rank equals, now if we want the second highest salary, I put two there. So now when we execute this, we should get 7,000, which is our second highest salary. But notice that here I get two rows. Now if you don't want both the rows, simply use the top class here. So select top one salary. So now if we execute this, we should get only one row. So we get the top one salary um, there. So the second highest salary. Now if you want the third highest salary, you simply put three there and execute this query. And notice that we get the third highest salary. And what is third highest salary? It's 6,000. Um, let's actually include a go there. So now if we execute this, look at this third highest salary is 6,000. Okay. All right. So we have seen how to retrieve you know, nth highest salary using a subquery and using a CTE as well. Now, obviously, you know, this is going to be n here, meaning if you want 15th highest salary, simply replace it with 15 and it's simply going to work. So you can do that either, you know, with this query or this query. Okay, so if an interviewer asks you to find any of the highest salary, you know, you know what to do now. It's not just salary, it could be any numerical number in that case. Okay, now, in most of the blogs on the internet, you see that this query can actually give us the nth highest salary. 
but actually there's something wrong with this query this query is going to work fine if there are no duplicates but if there are duplicates this is not going to work as expected let me explain what I mean so here they're using row number function so let's actually flip to the slide so instead of using dense rank you know they're using row number function so when we use row number let's also give this alias a meaningful name so let's call this row number okay now when we execute this query let's say we want third highest salary okay let's actually try second highest salary first let's execute both of these queries so now look at this what is the second highest salary 7000 so we get that correctly but what is the third highest salary here third highest salary is 6000 right so now if I want third highest salary if you put three there and then execute this one what are we getting we're getting 7000 that's wrong and why is that happening that's basically happening because of this row number function here this row number function is going to give sequential row numbers for every row so 7000 has got row number one two three you know 7000 has got row number two and this 7000 has got row number three so when we say result dot row number equals three we're going to get this salary so that's why you know we get the wrong result so if you use row number you know this is going to work if the table doesn't contain duplicate data but if it does contain duplicate data then it's not going to work that's why it's better to use dense rank function All right that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day